Hey, what's going, y'all? It is yours truly once again. For those that uh, prefer monogamy, uh, as a disclaimer, I'm not bashing monogamy, but I believe that in some cases, one that is reconsidering monogamy, whether to accept or reject it, I believe that this podcast is for you. So check this out. See, um, first and foremost, I want to get right to the point about a lot of things. Well, usually in the case of where, you know, they have this thing out there in the world called polygamy, but it's really polygyny. Uh, But basically, a lot of people who have a stigma towards it or they've accepted it, but they still have their old monogamous viewpoints about it that they just have tried to, um, I guess, modify for polygyny. They'll say things like, well, if you cannot afford her, what makes you think that you can afford more than one woman if you can't afford her? But really think about it this way. It's not that you can't afford her. You cannot afford her problems. Once again, it's not about you uh, being unable to afford her. It's about you not being able to afford her problems. And I don't think any man wants to be putting up with the problems of the feminine, whether he has more than one woman or not. So in the case of in the case of monogamy, keep this in mind. You got to deal with the problems of that only one chick the whole time. You ain't got to deal with that. You could keep it moving. But what man want what, what man wants to have to keep going through the process of constantly dropping a female in hopes that he finds another one when he can already have someone around that's just better suited and she's just going to be more supportive even if there have been other women he has encountered so that's really the beauty of not really sticking with monogamy but yeah going back to just the subject at hand of why one would probably avoid monogamy for most of the feminine well you just keep in mind of what comes into play with that they say that the game intensifies when you have to deal with only one woman basically like because you have to be around her all the time you got to figure out how to keep things going how to keep her on her toes how to keep her from peeping on you all this game and of course y'all know at my channel i'm not about all those games so unfortunately i see monogamy as part of the game in many ways but with that said Let's talk about some of her game. Let's talk about some of her game, shall we? So, uh, with that said, you know, talking about some of her game. Well, she does things like looking your cell phone when you're not around. She finds ways to eavesdrop on you, especially if you have social media. She has other girlfriends or other peoples that have been low-key watching you and you didn't realize it. She has certain ways of critiquing you and then she calls herself vetting you. A real man does, I mean, a real, yeah, I might as well switch it up. A, A real man doesn't put up with a chick trying to vet him and a real woman does not try to vet a real man. What's the need for it? He's a real man, right? He's shown you that. The typical males, I get it. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, sweetie. You just want to make sure you don't get caught up in whatever his drama and games are. But with a real man, there's no worries about that. So a man doesn't put up with that. As I've said before, in regards to you getting around the ideal type of feminine, she has to be very uh, prototypical. But the last time I checked, yes, the last time I checked, the prototype does not test the tester okay so when you get a chick trying to test you she may say she's vetting you but she's trying to test you whether to the whether through the uh through giving you the s test you know she's trying to uh test you in different ways no 
never get around a chick that's trying to test you nor vet you. Trying to sweat you, you, you know, making you sweat. A real woman won't put you through all that stuff, right? But getting back to the monogamy side of all this, a real woman doesn't pressure you about monogamy either. And that's why you avoid monogamy for most of the feminine because most men don't get anything out of it anyway. They don't. They don't get anything out of it. You just get an insecure chick that is just going to constantly still be on you about everything. No matter how much you do to prove to her that you're only doing things for her. It's never going to be enough. No matter what you do, it's never going to be enough. And that's why you avoid monogamy for most of the feminine. Thanks a million.